Hello cruel world, my name is Dr. Shaham Das, I'm a consultant forensic psychiatrist. So I'm making this video as a response to some of the comments I got on another video that I did recently on Joshua Miles' channel where I mentioned personality disorders. So I got a lot of positive feedback and uh, some new fans and new subs which I'm grateful for. I also got quite a lot of criticism uh, and I've ruffled some feathers and I'd like to address that in this video. So firstly, thank you for calling me up on, on uh, my comments on personality disorders. I'm always up for discussion, always up for having my ideas challenged. I think it's important. So I think it's fair to say that the very concept of personality disorders is uh, controversial and it is contentious. I should uh, preface this by saying that I don't profess to have a personality disorder. Some of you might disagree with me and I've never undergone treatment for personality disorder, but I have assessed and worked with hundreds of patients with a formal diagnosis of personality disorder. So I've heard a lot about the experience uh, of this. So I think that people are more upset by the concept of what a personality disorder is and in the labeling and the judgment that comes with this diagnosis as opposed to the definition. That's what I think. If I'm wrong, then let me know in the comments section below. With respect, I don't think that you can have a strong argument that the definition uh, of what I said was incorrect. So I think I said that somebody with a personality disorder means that their character is flawed and personality means character and disordered means flawed. So these are synonyms. So I don't think you can really say that that is incorrect. The ICD-10 definition is, and I quote, a specific personality disorder is a severe disturbance in the categorical constitution and behavioral tendencies of the individual, usually involving several areas of the personality and nearly always associated with considerable personal and social disruption. So I think maybe I didn't emphasize the fact that to, by definition, there has to be like a problem with family or work or relationships or functioning by definition for somebody to have a personality disorder. I think some people very reasonably have an issue of being misdiagnosed with a personality disorder. So from my point of view, if somebody doesn't have those uh, issues constantly with functioning, with getting on with people, with working, if there isn't that decrease in functioning, then by definition, they don't have a personality disorder. They might have personality traits, they might clash with people, but they don't have a personality disorder. And I think that some people are uh, in the sense of being diagnosed unfairly, fair enough. I didn't explain this in detail in the Joshua Miles video because it was just an overview video. I think the crux of the matter and the important bit is the labeling and the judgment that comes with the diagnosis of personality disorder. And I think that is definitely the case sometimes. So in my career, I've seen both doctors and nurses talk about somebody uh, by saying something like, oh, it's just personality disorder, which can be interpreted sometimes as this person's just a troublemaker or they don't need our support or their behaviors are completely in their control. Just to be really clear, I categorically do not think that is a good approach or an attitude. And I've said this in my other videos, if you look at my channel where I've talked about personality disorders in the past. And I also wanted to say that I've certainly worked with people with personality disorders uh, with a formal diagnosis on various psychiatric wards and they can be pleasant, the interactions can be uh, absolutely fine, they can be nice, warm, funny people. So I'm not suggesting that everybody with a personality disorder is is always difficult to get on with, that's not true. But most people have issues getting on with people by definition, again, that is what personality disorder means. However, I think it's also important to say that for some people, it can actually be helpful to have a diagnosis uh, just so they know that it's got a name, that they're not the only one. So I've seen many people, one that jumps into my mind immediately was a woman who I saw in clinic who had a diagnosis of borderline personality disorder. She had issues throughout her life from getting into explosive arguments, falling out with family, friends, relationships, being really impulsive, self-harming, never feeling quite happy. And once she was diagnosed, this is actually helpful for her because she knew that, it, that she wasn't the only one and she knew that, uh, that it was a recognized set of symptoms. And also she, was, uh, she felt some kind of relief in knowing that it wasn't something else like a severe depression, for example. Another really important point uh, that I tried to make, although I did it briefly in my previous video, is that a personality disorder is different from a mental illness. They're both psychiatric disorders, but a personality disorder is not a mental illness. 
the difference fundamentally being this, that a mental illness is a period of time where somebody's different from their normal self. So it could be a period of depression, a period of uh, psychosis, a period of mania where they have their symptoms. Whereas a personality disorder is, uh, is a lot more long-term and permanent because it's your personality and your personality is your characteristics, it's who you are. So any issue, any disorder of your personality is there all the time. It doesn't mean it presents itself all the time, but it's there in the background all the time because it's part of you. Just like my personality traits are always part of me. As a quick side note, in terms of personality disorders that I see, so I work with uh, criminals and I give evidence as an expert witness in court trials, I see antisocial personality disorder, which is where people have like a lack of empathy and remorse uh, they don't care about the rights of other people, so they, they uh, regularly, habitually offend, sometimes with violence. I also say borderline personality disorder, so people can be quite explosive, have explosive arguments. So in my experience, they don't intend to offend. It's not part of their lifestyle, like it might be for antisocial personality disorder, but they, uh, they can be quite explosive in arguments and it can lead to uh, issues, problems, arguments, aggression, violence, offending sometimes. Finally, I see paranoid personality disorder. This is where people hold grudges, are very sensitive to criticism, uh, and can misinterpret mutual gestures. So these are things that I see that lead to offending, but I absolutely fully accept and appreciate that that doesn't mean that everybody with a personality disorder uh, has violent tendencies. If anything, it's a very small minority, but it's the people that I see. So in conclusion, I apologize if I offended anybody. Uh, I do think personality disorders are a contentious issue, even the concept of them. It's not something I went into detail in my previous video, again, because it was an overview video. Hopefully this video here uh, has let you understand some of my more deeper thoughts on the matter. So again, I don't think it should be the issue with the diagnosis that's the problem. I think it is the labeling and the negative connotations and the attitude of some people, including members of the public, including healthcare staff, I think that is the problem. Now, if I've got that wrong, then please let me know because I, I genuinely do want to know. This channel is a psych for sore minds. I dissect a whole range of issues related to mental illness and related to offending and the crossover of the two. I talk about high profile cases that have a mental illness angle, talk about diagnoses, etc. There's something for everybody on this channel. And again, I just wanted to say thank you for challenging me. I'm always up for discussion. Uh, if what you think of what I'm saying is wrong, then please explain it to me. Don't just get angry and shout. Tell me why I'm wrong. And I promise I will look at your comments and your responses with an open mind. And if you convince me to change my mind, then I will uh, be very open to changing my opinions. Okay, it was lovely to talk to you all. Until next time, stay euthymic. And remember, despite what you might think, I love you.